Hey friends! So today we are going to read another story that has some animals that you might find at a zoo. But these animals in my story are not in the zoo yet. They are still in the wild. It's called We All Went On a Safari. And a safari is when people go out into the wild and they look for animals but they don't touch them they just look at them and admire their beauty hmm. look at the cover of that story what animals do you think they might find on their safari I see some different animals hmm. maybe they'll find an elephant or a zebra Ooh, I don't know what that animal is do you know the name of that animal we'll have to keep reading to see who do you think all these people are? Maybe they're a family? Or in some parts of the world, people live in tribes. So they live in a big group all together. So they could be a part of a tribe. Let's read it and find out. <laughs> we all went on a safari, a counting journey through Tanzania. <laughs> I wonder what Tanzania is. Do you guys know? Tanzania is a country in Africa. Look, I will show you a map. At the end of our book, it has a map of Tanzania. So this is a country in Africa. Like we live in the United States on North America. These people all live in Tanzania on Africa. So let's see what happens in their country when they go on a safari. We all went on a safari, a counting journey through Tanzania, written by Lori Kurtz. We all went on a safari. When the day had just begun, we spied a lon lonely leopard. Arusha counted one. And look, that number one is at the bottom. Hmm. Wonder what animal they'll see next. We all went on a safari. Over grassland damp with dew, we came across some ostriches, and Mossy counted how many? Two. That's right. One, two, and there's the number two. Ooh, I love this animal. We all went on a safari past an old akia tree. Nearby giraffes were grazing, so Tupi counted how many? Three, that's right. Here's the number three. There are three tall giraffes. We all went on a safari to the ancient crater floor. We heard some lordly lions. Mombe counted, let's count them. One, two, three, four. Look, they are all hiding. They don't want the lion to see them. And look what this lady has. What does she have in her hand? She has a spear. Why do you think she might be carrying a spear with them on their safari? She might have it to help keep them safe. We all went on a safari where the lake birds swim and dive. Up bubbled some hefty hippos. Aquila counted, let's count them, one, two, three, four, five. She counted five hippos. Look at the kids. They are all just sitting down watching. They're so excited to see hippos. Ooh. Here's that animal that I told you I didn't know its name. Let's read it and find out. We all went on a safari among the herds that intermix. We followed woolly wildebeest. And Wati counted, how many wildebeest do you see? Six. Oh my goodness, they're such big animals, huh? They look like they don't want to get too close. They might be afraid of their horns. We all went on a safari with sun high in the heaven. We spotted zigzag zebras. Zar Zalari counted, how many? Seven, let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven zebras. <clears throat> we all went on a safari near the Serengeti Gate. We startled weary warthogs. 
Chuva counted eight. They startled those warthogs. What animal do you think they might see next? Let's see. We all went on a safari where treetops intertwined. We met mischievous monkeys. So Ditto counted nine. Those monkeys are kind of hard to see. Should we count and make sure she counted the right way? All right, let's do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's number nine. I had a hard time finding them all. <clears throat> Well, my favorite animals last. We all went on a safari through a rocky hillside glen. We watched enormous elephants and Bordru counted 10. There are a lot of elephants. Look at how excited all the kids are to see the elephants. You can tell because they're running, her hands are up. They're so excited. We all went on a safari in the sunset's fading light. We built ourselves a campfire and bid our friends good night. Hmm. Look at that. They built a campfire. Are they still out in the plane that they were exploring the safari? A plane is a wide open land. Yeah, they're still out in the plane. Maybe this tribe lives on the plane. Or maybe they're just spending the night there. And then our book has a section that tells us all about the animals of Tanzania. So, some of the animals that live in the country of Tanzania are a leopard, a lion, an ostrich, the hippo, giraffe, the wildebeest, the zebra, warthog, the verbet monkey, and the elephant. I want you to think in your brain. We don't live in Tanzania. We live in the United States of America. Do these animals live in the wild in our country? No. For us to see these animals, where do we have to go? The zoo. That's right. If we want to see these animals, we have to go to the zoo. We can't go on a safari in our country and see these. And that is our story. There is the country Tanzania.